So, I want to hear the best, like, bad thing that happened in the movie theater story for each of you. For me, we went to a different theater than normal. And, like, partway through the movie, this guy leans forward and just vomits all over the guy in front of him. Just oh, covers Jesus him. And the Christ. guy stands up and is just like, what the hell, man? And his friend, as this guy's just being miserable, his friend leans forward and he's like, oh, yeah, he's not feeling very well. It was just like, no shit. So, yeah, they, they ended up, the guy that got vomited completely all over, like, got his, his ticket comped. But uh, my, my friend was dying laughing next to me. He thought it was the funniest thing he'd ever seen. Oh, I yeah. did not. I was it like, would be so hard to, to not laugh. Kicked. Yeah, it'd be hard not to laugh at that. I mean, yeah, it, I've already talked about that. Where, like, I'm, I'm the guy that my friend can get seriously injured, and I'm the dude in the corner laughing my ass off because it's fucking hilarious. So... But yeah, it'd be hard not to talk about that. I had two. I had one where... <laughs> I just noticed that these were... like Jesus Christ. Okay, so for those of you who don't know young Chris, I was very into the aspect of being in a relationship. And my grandpa put in my head early on that in order for me to finally get to a point as a man where I would settle down, I needed to spend my time as a young man dating around. Not cheating. But not staying in, like, relationships. So as a kid, I had a two-week rule. I would date somebody for two weeks, but that was it. And I would be upfront about this. And at that time, a lot of the chicks would say the same thing. Oh, I'm, I, I'll, I'll beat that two-week rule. I'll change you. We'll be in a relationship for months. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, oh, okay, you. yeah. Exactly. Oh, that fun stuff. <laughs> so, that. so, but here's where I was done with the rule. If we broke up and we went back out, in my mind, that was two-week counter reset. Ah. Yeah, it was one of those things. Yeah, I know. See, Fucking. JoJo couldn't fake that reaction. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways, so I dated a lot of chicks, especially whenever I was younger. Um, and I just noticed that both of these were uh, due to me trying to hook up with a, not the same chick for both these, but <laughs> trying to hook up with a chick, which is why I went. Which will make more sense as I get into this first one. So... I went to go see the Powerpuff Girls movie <clears throat> because there was a Powerpuff Girls movie. There was a Powerpuff like a Girls movie. Yeah. And I was trying to date the chick, but it was her little sister that wanted to go to the movie. So hence, once again, makes sense why I was there. We spent, I, I did not know what to expect because I did not really watch Powerpuff Girls. I know what it is and I know the names of the characters. I even know the names of some of the bad guys, but I did not watch a lot of Powerpuff Girls growing up. Anyways. So, that being said, the first half of the movie was the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. And I didn't think anything of it. And neither did the theater until they finally noticed that halfway through the fucking movie, they were playing us the wrong movie. So, then I had to then sit there and let them reset and go all the way back to the beginning of Powerpuff Girls. And now I had to watch all the way through Powerpuff Girls on top of watching the first half of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Powerpuff Girls is a cartoon. Yes. And How did nobody catch this? Is live action pants. I was <laughs> trying to hook up with a girl at the time. My focus How was here, not, not here. Uh, once again, here, not here. We were more into each other than okay. we were the screen. Child, so, was there a child sister with her, actually? Did that... Oh. Her sister wanted to see it. Yeah, I'd say like 12... 13 maybe? Say, like, this seems like a super obvious difference. It, it, it should have been obvious. It should have been a lot more yeah, obvious. When, when you saw I'll say this. Instead of a cartoon. When it first started, I did have the thought of like maybe they're doing like a whole, oh, this is a real live thing, and then it's going to switch to cartoon. That's, in my mind, that okay. what was going to happen. But then after sure. that, like after the first like five minutes, I gave two shits about what was on the screen, and I was you know, put my moves on, you know, doing what I was doing, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, hitting them with that but, southern charm. Exactly. Oh my so God. how did I mean so, <laughs> there are other people in the theater, right? Like that just seems so yeah. well you also have to remember like it this happened, is when man. he was a teenager. So this is when they had like long ads and stuff like that so frequently. Like I absolutely would have assumed, oh, this is an ad, it's gonna end and then yeah, I can see how it would and get like halfway through before I'd be like, Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> like, What's happening? Exactly. 
Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I've seen the first half of The Sister of the Traveling Pants. Never finished it. What? How do <laughs> you out there. Never went to go finish it. I'm sorry. I'm I sorry, everybody. I'm letting you down. Yeah, I know. So... Didn't you, you know, want to know what happened to the pants? Not really. And whether or not they made it to their destination? <laughs> I, think, I don't know shit about this. I don't this. think there's a final destination for the pants. <laughs> they were simply passed around. Oh, uh, I just had another... Even. I had another joke on top of that, but I chose not to do that one. Anyways, so... My second... <laughs> I've had enough eye rolls from Kelsey already in just this, the beginning of this story. Yeah, you've gotten a couple. <laughs> I was going to say, those weren't the pants that I was worried about. But anyways. Uh, so. <laughs> yep, there's not I didn't even mean to do that one. God damn it. Uh, anyways, so my second one. <laughs> actually, I have three, I guess, but they're quick. So my second one is I was on a date. And it was a double date, and we went to go see the movie The Happening, which I fell asleep in within the first, like, fucking 50 minutes, most boring fucking, not even 50 minutes, 30 minutes, most boring fucking movie of my life. I woke up at the end of it. I literally woke up to Chris Roll, and I was like, oh, man. So and I looked at my date. was fall asleep? You're, you're on a date, and your move is fall asleep? You've been too old for this shit for a long time. Uh, for, it's, look, I, I, mean, I think The Happening is a, certainly is a powerful film. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it has it has a, a, a fucking. Narcotic? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> yeah, it has yeah a very I mean, probably. Well, that, that's literally what I said. I woke up and she was up like, "Are you okay? Are you feeling alright?" I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Well, you just fell asleep." I was like, "Fucking those plants, man! They're fucking good at their job. They got me through the movie. It was crazy. <laughs> the movie was so fucking stupid." Oh Do man! You know the plot to the happening. No, I don't. Oh, okay. okay. Well, then there uh, you go. There's something going on, a happening of sorts, <laughs> and Mark Wahlberg and Zoe Deschanel need to figure out what it is or something, and that's the pl The plants are mad at us. Yeah. So basically, they um, figure out the plants are mad at us, and they're releasing yeah. spores or some shit that's just killing people. That's the entire... I get... Look up, Mark, it, probably a highlight reel. I'm 100% I'm sure this exists because I've had this exact same conversation with other people. There's a highlight reel of Mark Wahlberg's acting... And you would think this motherfucker was going for a, a, a goddamn award. Like, it was insane for a movie that was that fucking stupid. Like, where he's walking, he's like, Well, we gotta figure out how we're gonna survive on this planet with plants then. It's like, that's that's a great sentence. Good writing right there. I agree. We need to figure that out. Like, I could not give two shits about that fucking movie. Oh my god, I did not care at all. So, there's that one. And then the second one, I was with a group of friends and there were multiple couples and we went and saw maze runner i think that was oh. the one and uh the chick that i was with got us kicked out she got in an argument with somebody and they were yelling back and forth and got us kicked out yeah no yeah so we came right. walking out she's like i'm sorry and i was like well you owe me for my fucking movie ticket so was, nah, just, i didn't do that i'm not an asshole but i was just like eh, i mean it is what it is i, was, I wasn't extremely invested in maze runner so all is. right, Jojo, your turn. When did you fall asleep yeah, on a I date? I, this. I remember uh, when I was 12, I saw or so I saw Dreamcatcher, which was a Stephen King thing. Mm -hmm. and it was too spooky and I had to leave. Yeah. That's a good one. That's uh, fair. Uh, speaking of Shyamalan's, my, my, uh, The Happening, and yep. my favorite, I think, movie theater experience is there's there's a trailer. I'm at, I'm at probably it was like Inception or Dark Knight Rises, something around that time period. And a trailer comes on, it's these people in, a, in, a, in an elevator, and there's something spooky going on. It seems like, oh, this looks kind of interesting. And then it cuts to uh, the text from producer M. Night Shyamalan, and the whole audience laughed mm. his name showing up. At this point, this is post The Happening, so he's yeah. fully <clears throat> worn off any goodwill he had. I'm not going to lie. I was like halfway through that. I was almost 100% sure that you didn't know who the fuck M. Night Shyamalan actually was because just the way that you said it, you're like, it was like, you know, Batman Begins. And I was like, who knows that M. Night Shyamalan did that movie, right? Like, I was just, I'm going to let you finish your story, but I was just like, holy shit. I just, I feel like it happened in like a. <laughs> yeah, I got you. That. Yeah. Uh, that was good. That's all. Oh, uh, and when I saw the Joker, there was definitely, there was a police presence. That was that was a weird one. Yeah, because that was right. That had to be right after. It seemed like something had happened. Yeah, yes. but nothing made because they still let us go see the movie. <laughs> but there there are cops there. Like.